Welcome to an episode of Off The Air. I'm your host, Ben Beke, and today we're joined by Nick Rowe and Jade Parsons, two OUA wrestling champions from Brock Athletics. Welcome to the show today, guys. Thank you. So far, both teams have been doing pretty stellar. Uh, great performance at the McMaster Open, the Toronto Open, as well as the Ontario Senior Championship Open. So, just looking at the younger class, you know, the, the young freshmen coming in, where do you see is the greatest development point? Well, the first noticeable difference, I think, is we have some bigger guys. Uh, with the OUA and CIS side on the men's team for uh, the past, we haven't had too many of the heavier weight classes, whereas now we're getting a little bit of uh, younger guys coming in who are a little bit bigger than our previous years. But for the rookies coming in now, you know, it's great that they get to the, the train with the seniors, you know, and it's the same thing that we all went through when we got there. We get, you get your butt kicked at the beginning, mm -hmm. and then as you progress through your junior and your senior years, then you become the guy who gets to beat everybody else up, right? So it's that progression, and they're sticking with it. They're not quitting with it. So that's what I think is the best thing with them. So with any varsity athletic team, there's a lot of obvious substantial training in the off season. So Jade, do you find that any of this training that they make you go through with wrestling affects your life outside of varsity athletics as well? Oh, of course. Um, there's huge sacrifices that we have to make in order to get to the level that we want to get at. Um, a really big difference between wrestling and a lot of other sports is that there's really no such thing as recreational wrestling. But when you get to this point, it's basically all or nothing. You have to sacrifice maybe a better job. Um, you have to sacrifice a lot of time with your friends, family, anything. Um, I know Marty always said his parents never asked him to come to family dinners because they always know that he'd be there after training. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the mentality that we have to have all day, every day, wow. all year. A lot of sacrifice, but it shows because you you guys are coming home with the championships. So next up, we're going to play a quick game. It's called Name That Badger. So I'm going to name a list of things that would describe a person. I want you guys to match someone from the wrestling team, both okay. either women's or men's, that you feel like would best describe them. So first off, um, person most likely to forget their singlet on the day of a match. That would be me. Oh, I've done it before. I've even had to wear a men's singlet. So. Yeah. Sounds it's comfortable. very embarrassing, <laughs> and I'll never do it again. That's fair. All right, biggest trash talker. We don't really have that many trash talkers on our team. No. Um, like everybody, like the, one of the great things about our sport is pretty humbling. So you know, like one day you can be like on the moon, and then the next day you just wrestle like complete garbage. Oh, great. Okay. And so you know, trash talking, like you know, you'll joke with everybody every once in a while, like mm -hmm. you know, all the guys who are in similar weight classes, like there's three or four guys in my weight class that we train with. And, you know, if one guy's having a bad day, we, you know, we'll give him the gears a little bit. Oh, okay. But then the next day, you know, it could be you that's having a bad day. So, yeah, you know, fair. you kind of take it lightly. Nobody's safe. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, the motivational speaker. One of our old teammates, uh, Tim Clement, he used to be pretty good at that stuff, but he's graduated now and he's a teacher. But uh, Marty Calder, he has this unique way of uh, motivating athletes. So that, um, you know, I find it's extremely effective. I mean, yeah. you guys winning championships, so it's yeah. definitely working. All right, the person with an endless amount of workout selfies. Marissa? Oh, yeah. Marissa Sorrell. Oh, okay. <laughs> she, she has come a long way, though. Uh, she has worked her butt off to get where she is now, and she deserves it, so. Yeah, take pictures. <laughs> not, why not? <laughs> uh, most humble competitor. Sam Jagas. Sam Jagas, he is an incredible athlete. Yeah. And CIS Rookie of the Year. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, and you'll never hear a peep from him. Okay. So the comedian out of the pack. Brian Cowan and Zach Falcioni, I think. Brian and Zach are a duo, yeah, I would say. Kind of Together, they are hilarious. They, they feed off each other a lot of things. Yeah. So are there any other major wrestling events coming up uh, that students can attend to show support for the wrestling team? Well, we have the Brock Open, which will be uh, being held in January, around January 10th, um, which is kind of as the break is ending for people. So if they are back in time, they could come see that. Um, and then there will be other championships. Uh, we have the Junior and Senior National Championships, which we're supposed to be held in Guelph, but they're now being held at Brock. So that'll be uh, the end of March, I believe, around the 21st of March. And that'll be a two, three day event. It's perfect. Well, best of luck with the rest of your seasons. Thank you for joining us today on the show. And thank you for tuning in to Off the Air. Until the next episode.